Is there lipstick on my teeth? No. Oh yeah, there is. Seriously? <laughs> now I have a double chin. Like. Do I have a double chin? I don't know. Do I? Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I want to show you how I contour and highlight when I'm going out or when you're just not a natural type of girl like I am. Uh, it's very extreme. It's a lot of products. Uh, you got to take a lot of steps. But yeah, that's how I like it when I go out or just when I'm feeling like snatching my face. Um, for those who are not new to my channel, you know that I already uploaded a video in July 2015. But I got so many problems with that video. Like seriously, I don't know what is happening but out of the blue I got some kind of error and I wanted to adjust the video because I had to but I couldn't because the video had more than 1 million views I believe and then I was like okay well you know I'm gonna upload the video again and guess what the same damn thing happened like Before I almost threw up my laptop out of the window, I was like, you know, I'm gonna make this video again. I'm gonna film it again. Um, it was my first YouTube video, so I'm still very sad that I had to remove it. But um, because it was my first YouTube video, I didn't have any experience with lighting or filming or whatsoever. Not that I'm a professional now, but... I think my lighting is okay right now and um, yeah that's actually it um, it's kind of the same video I hope you guys like this video I know that in my previous video people were saying oh she's a fake ass bitch because she already had foundation on her face before she started filming and I was like okay so I'm gonna apply primer on top of my already applied foundation and then I'm gonna apply foundation again seriously like no no I didn't yeah so before we jump into the video I have I did my eyebrows I applied some concealer on my eyelid with some powder I applied eyeliner and I applied false lashes and moisturizer of course but that's it yes so let's keep it nice don't call me a fake ass bitch. I don't like that it's not very nice yeah so um let's just jump right into the video uh, again I hope you guys like this video if you have any questions or suggestions you know feel free just comment down below and I will see you in my next video bye bye first of all cup of tea I love my green tea and then I'm taking one layer of toilet paper to get rid of any oils on my face because I want my face to be very matte and then I'm going in with primer so that my foundation will last the whole day And for foundation, I'm mixing the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation in the color NC42 and NC35 because NC42 can be a little bit too orange and NC35 is way too light for my skin tone. So I mix these two together to get my perfect shade. And I'm using my favorite brush and that's the MAC 170 buffing brush. This brush is new, but I absolutely love this brush. It will just give your face an airbrushed look and I love, love, love it. And for contouring, I'm using a Match Master Concealer in the color 9. It's the darkest shade MAC has. And I'm applying it on the hollows of my cheeks, as you can see. And I'm using a concealer brush uh, to apply it. And also on my forehead and especially around my baby hairs, as you can see. And just around my entire forehead, actually. And also a little bit on my jawline. And 
for my nose I'm using the same brush and the same concealer it's actually a concealer but yeah whatever I don't really care I mean if it does the job like why not use it to contour doesn't really matter I think everyone does that and because I applied way too much on my nose I'm using a brush with no additional product to remove it and then I'm going to color correct my under eyes using a flat concealer brush and an orange corrector and I'm only applying it on the darker areas under my eyes and then I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear NC35 concealer and I'm really applying a lot of it And now I'm taking another concealer. It's the MAC Mineralize Concealer in MW25 or 30. It's pretty light, but I'm only using it to contour, to contour really, to highlight my forehead and my nose because the tip is very small and my cupid's bow. I just love it to highlight my nose and forehead. And then I'm going to blend all of the concealer with a sponge. Um, a lot of people blend the contour first, but I just like to blend my concealer first. I don't know why. I tried the other way around, but it's just not working for me. So that's how I do it. But if you want to blend your contour first, be my guest. And then I'm taking my all-time favorite stippling brush, the MAC 130 brush. And this is the brush I'm going to use to blend out my contour. I gotta say, like in the beginning, nothing looks blended, especially the contour. But I will promise you, at the end, everything will be blended. And I'm really pushing the product into my skin. And then I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush to blend out my nose contour. Um, I don't know what kind of brush this is. It has all kinds of numbers on the brush. I think I bought it a few years ago. It's just a nice small eyeshadow brush uh, with a lot of bristles and it's perfect to contour my nose. And as you can see, I'm really blending the contour into my eyebrows to make it not so fake well seriously not so fake it is fake but still you know what i mean and to blend out the rest of my face i'm going in with a sponge again because i want to have more highlight i'm using the prep and prime highlight in the color light boost to really give me that highlighted look and i'm applying it under my eyes well not directly but you can see where i applied it on my nose on my chin and on my cupid's bow and i'm blending it in with a brush i don't remember which brush is this it's a very round i think it's a kabuki brush but then very small oh, i'm not sure maybe it's a concealer brush And then I'm going in with the same brush again for my nose just to make sure everything is blended and I'm using a sponge to blend my under eye. And to prevent my under eye from creasing, I'm using the Skin Finish Powder in the color Medium Golden and I'm applying it directly under my eyes because I want everything to be creaseless. 
And then I'm going in with a pro product. It's a setting powder in the color yellow. And I am really baking my under eyes. And because the yellow wasn't enough for me, I am applying the same powder, but then in a much lighter color, as you can see. I know it looks so weird at this moment, but I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then I'm taking the same medium golden skin finish to set my contour. And here I'm just removing all of that powder. And as you can see, I applied some coal in my waterline, but my camera died, so you can't see it, but it's not really interesting. It's just the black eye coal. And then I'm taking a very large stippling brush to make sure that everything is nice and blended. And because it's never enough for me, I'm going in with a foundation powder in the color NC25. It's very light, it's very full coverage, but I love it to apply it when I'm done baking just to make sure that I really have that full coverage going on. I know this is a lot, but yeah, <laughs> I love it. And then I'm going in with MAC Give Me Sun and a big brush. I think it's a MAC 135 to warm up my skin. I don't know what was happening with my shoulder, but yeah, whatever. And for blush, I'm using Peaches. I'm not going to explain this color. It's called Peaches. So yeah, it's not a pink blush. And I'm using a blush brush to apply it. And I hate that face when I make when I'm applying blush. It's like that big laugh face. It's no. No, just no. And of course, I'm going to highlight my face and I'm using a blending brush. Uh, I believe it's a MAC 224. And I'm using a highlighter that is called um, Oh Darling, I believe. It's the one that came Christmas last year. Cupid's bow and also a little bit on my nose. Do you see what's happening? I'm taking an angled brush with no additional product, but that's because I want my highlight and my blush and bronzer to be nice and blended. And of course, I'm going in with some mascara. Do you see my lip pencil? This is stripped down. Like I love this pencil, as you can see, and I'm just lining my lips. And I'm also going to fill in my lips because I am going in with a lipstick that is called Velvet Teddy. In the video, you don't see me applying a clear lip gloss, but I have my lip pencil. So the lip pencil on my entire lip. Then I went in with Velvet Teddy, the lipstick, and then I applied some clear lip gloss to make my lips shiny. So guys, this is it. We are done. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, just let me know. Feel free to ask. And if you want to see me do another type of video or I don't know, maybe not a makeup tutorial or something else or a special makeup look you want to see me do, just let me know and I will get back to you. I hope you have a nice day and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.